Hello lovelies, my name's Tarina. This is a yin inspired class for the hamstrings. We're grabbing hold of a strap if you have one or something of a similar size. And then eventually find in a nice stance with the feet hip distance apart and gently start to fold the torso over the legs for a gentle forward fold. The knees can be bent here and releasing the hands down towards the floor. If it's uncomfortable to have the hands all the way to the floor, feel free to grab hold of opposite elbows. We'll be starting in this forward fold for today's practice. Use these first few seconds to find a comfortable position as we will be here for two and a half minutes. So think about relaxing the neck and the head, relax the shoulders, and starting to bring your attention and your focus to your breath. Taking nice deep inhales and exhales. We are now halfway through. So see and check in with the body to see if you're holding on to any tension. If you are, use your next exhale to just allow the torso to relax a tiny bit more. Let gravity do the work here. If you had hold of each elbow, releasing the hands down towards the floor now, bending into the knees and mindfully making your way into a seated position. Once you've arrived, extend the left leg out towards the side, right heel comes in towards the groin area and then releasing the torso over the leg. Once again, try not to force this movement, just allow the weight of the head and the torso to bring you a tiny bit closer towards the thigh. Use these first few seconds to really set yourself up in this pose so you might need to shuffle the position of your hands or your arm and eventually settle in down. There is 30 seconds left on this side.
gently coming up with the torso let's go on the other side so when you're ready extending out the right leg this time the left leg comes in towards the body again realigning that torso first before gently folding the body over the leg take your time and then eventually shift that attention back to your breath We have 30 seconds left. And then gently coming up with the torso, take your time. And bringing the soles of the feet flat on the floor, so you're facing the short edge of your mat, roll yourself down onto the back. Taking your strap this time, wrap it around the base of the right foot and extend the heel away from you. It's absolutely okay if that leg remains bent. You have the option to also slide the left leg long down your mat. Making sure you're grabbing hold of the end of the straps rather than having to reach the arms all the way up towards that foot. Try to bring as much relaxation to this pose as possible. And you're thinking about lifting the heel up towards the ceiling rather than forcing that leg back towards the face. We are halfway through on this side. Maybe use this time to see if you can relax any muscles a little bit more. Also being sure to pay attention to the back and the shoulders here as well. Making sure they're also nice and relaxed.
and then slowly bend in that leg so you can release the strap go in the opposite side wrapping the strap around the left sole of the foot extend that heel away from you and if you've done so on the other side maybe you slide the right leg down the mat We are halfway through, so again, take this opportunity to check in with the body. And gently bend in that left leg to release the strap. Move it to one side and then come back up to a seated position with the legs extended out in front of you. Move any fleshy parts you might need to at the way so you can feel your sit bones. And then just gently fold in the torso over the legs. Again, take it easy. There is no need to be overly active here. So just allow the body to land where it does and wherever it's comfortable today and it may mean that chest is a little high up and that is absolutely fine that's where you're working with today enjoy giving gravity the power here This might be a good time to make sure our brain hasn't wandered off. If it has, just gently bring that attention back inwards.
and then slowly coming up with the torso shuffle the bum a little bit closer to the top of the mat and then make your way down laying on the back bring the feet as wide as the mat drop the knees in together for this modified shavasana to end the practice we're going to take some four part breath practice otherwise known as square breathing we'll be inhaling for four counts holding for four counts exhaling for four counts and holding for another four counts let's all reset our breath take a nice big inhale and exhale let's begin inhaling for one two three four and hold for four three two and one exhale for one two three four and hold for four three two one two more times inhale three two one and hold for one two three four exhale for four three two one and hold one two three and four this last one is on your own four count Once you have finished your last round of breath work, just return the breath back to its natural rhythm and relax the body down even more. 